subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. Uh-huh. What's going on, guys? James to bring another video. And first one, I'll be doing my weekly Bad Movie Friday review. Our first one, we'll be, do we will be talking about a movie called Electric Grandmother. So this is a movie that came out... Well, not a movie. It's a straight-to-TV video-type movie that came out in the 1980s. And uh, while I was scrolling through the comments, apparently this is like... Not, I, I don't know if it's like a beloved movie or like a, a watch because it was hated movies. Apparently it was shown to a bunch of schools around the 80s and 90s. I'd never seen this when I was in school. So it piqued my interest because late one night I was watching a Twitch streamer stream it and they were all making fun of it. So I was like, I put this on my list and like it's been a year or so since that, that person last watched it. I was like, I, I kind of I kind of want to watch it because it piqued my interest and it's been on my mind, back in my mind for a minute. So I watched it and I thought it was decent. It has a 7 out of 10 stars. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 stars because the st story was okay. And the, um, the story is pretty much about a, a group of kids lose their mother to, to a tragic incident. Then they get a robotic grandmother in her place. And that's pretty much the entire story is them ha trying to deal with the coping, falling falling in love with the robotic grandmother in the 80s. So I thought the story was okay for ahead of its time for talking about machines and stuff in the 80s. Like At times it could get creepy like... They're replacing our uh, dead mother with a robotic grandmother. Like, how could that not be dystopian? But, um, yeah, like I said, when I'm scrolling through the comments, this is on YouTube for free, the entire movie. Um, it is for free on YouTube at this time of making this video. I was, like I said, when I was scrolling through the comments, a bunch of people were saying, oh, I was shown this in school or whatever, and for like from like elementary to like middle school or whatever, in the 80s to the 90s. But, um, yeah, I, I never was shown this. So, um, yeah, um, again, this is only an hour long, not even. But on YouTube, There's the version I saw was like 45 minutes. I think with commercials, it's like an hour. But, um, yeah, I'm looking for the budget. There is none because, uh, again, straight TV movie. So I guess with that, um, yeah, I again, four out of five stars. And I guess with that, I will show you guys the uh, clips that I thought best represented this uh, movie. And I will be right back, everybody. See you all in a second. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Tom. Timothy. Agatha. And this must be your father. Welcome. Welcome. Take off your coats. Who are you? Guido Fantacini at your service. I believe you're looking for something in a grandmother. Oh, well, uh, the, the boys got all carried away uh, imagining impossible things. <laughs> Sign of great intelligence, that. Is she really electric? I mean, can she walk and talk? I'm and... a grandma who can sing songs and tell bedtime stories. Uh, Timothy, no machine can do that. Even if it could, it wouldn't be like a real person. Oh, no. I think you might be surprised, Abigail. Agatha. The only limit to what a machine can do is the limit of one's own imagination. You see this key? Take it, Alcibiades. With this key, you and you alone can bring your electric grandmother to life. My name's Agatha, and I don't believe in electric grandmothers. But if I did, where would I put the key? Well, that's for you to figure out when the time comes, my dear. After all, I can't be expected to tell you everything, can I? Now, look here. Just what kind of a business are you running here? My business? My business is fulfilling dreams. Oh, well, excuse me, but I, I think that sounds like a lot of mumbo-jumbo. Oh, thank you. Turn about, round about, sharing our day, teaching each other in so many ways. Tell me the best that you dreamed you could be. I'll be the sunlight that helps you to see. So yeah, those are the clips that I saw. I thought best represented this movie. And like you said, this you can find this on YouTube. It's like for free. It's one of those out there movies. And uh, yeah, I I didn't I didn't mind it. It's like an okay watch. Like it was an okay watch. So um yeah, I pretty much said what I had to say in the beginning of this video. So I guess with that. I'm going to show you guys what I have in store for uh, next week's Bad Movie Review. Be right back in a second, everybody.
we're going to be doing the movie called Mac and Me, which is, I know it's like either beloved or hated by people. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing the movie Mac and Me. So I guess with that, I'm going to be bringing this video to a close. This is James Singh. If you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. This is James Singh. Peace. I'll let Brandon Rogers take him here. See y'all in the next one, everybody. Right. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.